Hello, my name is Leanne Hadley and I'm the founder of Pieta, a spiritual movement of love and compassion towards ourselves, others, the world, and all God's creatures. Um, we're so glad that you are here tonight, um, today, whenever you're watching this video, and um, we just hope that this will be a, a movement that you'll be part of, that you can um, experience God's love and compassion and challenge yourself to become more loving and compassionate. We uh, call ourselves Pieta because of this beautiful um, statue by Michelangelo, the Pieta and Mary and her son. And we try to love Jesus and one another and our neighbor with the same love that his mother did. And so we are a, a movement of compassion. We're a Christian organization, but um, if you are not Christian, but you're seeking to be a, a safe place to become more loving and compassionate, this is probably the place for you and you would be more than welcome. We honor other faith traditions. We respect them deeply. So um, regardless of if you're a Christian or not, we're glad that you're here, very glad. Um, we begin each session with uh, lighting our sacred candle, so I've done that, and then um, reading our Pieta prayer. So this is the prayer of being. We've spent the last few weeks exploring it, and if you wanna learn more about this prayer and explore it, spend some time with it, um, you can watch the videos from past weeks. Uh, next week, we're gonna do a review of this prayer, just uh, putting it all back together again. And then the following week, we're gonna do a session about fall and what it means um, spiritually for us to move from summer into fall. And um, so anyway, join us again. Um, this is the prayer of being. Let us pray. Let me be in the world with nothing to prove, letting go of all expectations and judgment. May I give and receive compassion. May I care for others and receive their care. May I love deeply and receive love. May I be in the world with nothing to prove. May I be Pieta. Our uh, scripture focus for today, um, our scripture is from John 13, 31 through 36, and the line that we're focusing on from the prayer is, may I love deeply and receive love. And so um, here are these words from John about Jesus. It says, when he was gone, Jesus said, now the Son of Man is glorified and God is glorified in him and God is glorified in him. Um, if God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once. And then he gets serious with his disciples and he says, my children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me and uh, just as I told the Jews before you, so I tell you now where I am going, you cannot come. A new commandment I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. So Jesus is saying goodbye to his disciples and he says, if you remember nothing else, remember that I have asked you to love one another as you have been loved. And then Simon, his dear, dear disciple, Simon Peter asks him, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus replies, where I am going, you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. Now, most of us have heard this passage and um, and it and we're probably right in assuming that Jesus says you can't come where I'm going um, but you can come later because Jesus was going to the cross and to his own death and to his resurrection so uh, most people read this and they say you know well Jesus was saying you can't come where I'm coming but you'll come later and that makes per perfect sense um, the only thing I want to look at tonight is to read that line through um, through our prayer where we are working to love others and receive their love, love deeply and receive their love. And Jesus makes it clear, if you wanna follow me, then love others as you have been loved. And then after he says these beautiful words, you can't come with me yet, you can come with me later, Peter. Um, Jesus goes on to talk a lot about love. He does another um, long section about love. And um, he basically says, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I've loved you. No one has greater love than this than to lay down one's life for friends. You are my friends, and if you do what I command you, um, I do not call you servants any longer, 
because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I've called you friends because I've made known to you everything that I've heard from my father. And everything for Jesus boils down to some simple words. Love one another as you have been loved, as I have loved you. And then um, after he gives this long discourse, he's arrested. And um, the next place that we see him being loving is when Judas betrays him with a kiss and Jesus doesn't yell at Judas, he just is broken and he says nothing, which is the most loving thing he can do at that moment. Then he's arrested, he's beaten, he carries his cross, he's hanging on the cross, and as he dies on the cross, he reminds his disciple to love his mother and his mother to love the disciple, um, and then he forgives the people that have crucified him and says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He's loving the people that have nailed him to this cross. It's in these last hours of Jesus' life, it's love, love, love that gets deeper and deeper and deeper. So if we go back to this line where Jesus says to Peter, where I'm going, you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. Um, I think there's two ways that we can look at this. One is to say he went to heaven and we aren't dead, we're living. And so we, you know, won't go to heaven right now, we'll go to heaven later. Um, but I think it can also be interpreted um, when Jesus says, where I am going, you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. Um, I'm wondering if perhaps we can stretch the meaning of this a little bit. Yes, heaven you know, we'll go to heaven, we can't go now, we will go later, but is there anything we can do on this earth right now? And I think that is to be loving. And Jesus says, you know, you can't love like I love right now, but you can do it later. And when I hear those words and I think about the deep and the profound love that Jesus had enough to die um, for his friends, enough to die speaking love to the people that were killing him. Um, I think, no, I, I can't. I cannot, f I can follow him now, but I cannot love as deeply as he can, as he does. And so um, these words where he says, where I'm going, you cannot follow now, but you can follow later. Um, once he showed us his profound love, now we're ready to follow him. And Part of being part of Pieta is to say following Jesus is not only following him to heaven, it's following him in being loving. And I don't know that we'll ever be able to catch up with him, surpass him, because his love was so deep and it was so complete. It was so profound. And so part of our work that we do together is to move closer to the love that Christ demonstrated. So in our prayer, it says, may I love deeply and receive love. The depth goes deeper and deeper and deeper. And I don't know about you, sometimes I feel like I'm in the depths of love and sometimes I feel like I'm in the shallow water. But I know that Jesus has shown us the way and we are to follow him in that deep, deep love. Love deep enough, not only to lay down our lives for our friends, but to love even those who hurt us, wound us, and even kill us. That's a tall order. Those words, you can't follow me right now. No, I, I can't even keep up with them. But I can watch, and I can head down that path. The later is now. You cannot, he says, you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. The later is now. So let's follow. Let's love as deeply as we can. Um, the question for today then is, um, if we truly believed that our greatest calling is to love others with no concern for ourselves, like if our greatest calling was to truly love with selfless love, what would we do? 
what would our lives look like? Would we do something different than we're doing today if we truly believed that the only thing that mattered was love? Security doesn't matter, money doesn't matter, people liking us doesn't matter. If love was all that mattered, would you be doing anything differently? Were there any steps that you would take, um, anything that you would do that maybe you're not doing today? That's our, our first question. And you know, none of us are probably gonna do whatever we dream up today, because <laughs> it's hard. Um, but setting a vision, setting a target, shows us the direction that we need to go in. So be honest. If you truly believed that love was all that mattered and you truly were following Jesus, like follow, 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 how would your life be different? What would you do? Just dream. And don't worry that you're not matchy-matchy with doing it. Just dream it. And who knows how much further along the path uh, we'll make it. So spend some time discussing that and uh, pondering it. I'm going to do our prayer um, one more time. Let me be in the world with nothing to prove, letting go of all expectation and judgment. May I give and receive compassion. May I care for others and receive their care. May I love deeply and receive love. May I be in the world with nothing to prove. May I be Pieta. My blessing for you today is that um, we would follow Jesus. We would follow him now. He said, you can't follow me now, but you can follow me later. Well, it's later. Let's follow him now. Let's not just wait for heaven. And my prayer is that he will inspire us with his deep and everlasting love to love as deeply as we can today and then tomorrow and the next day. May we love deeply and may we receive that love. Thank you for being here and um, for being Pieta with me.